everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweepies. Today for you, I'm swatching the latest collection from China Glaze. This is their summer release called Havana Nights. It is a smaller collection with it just being six polishes, but honestly, a six polish collection is probably my favorite because it's attainable and it allows for a nice color story. And this collection has just that. They're definitely very, very summery. They feel tropical and I love everything about those things as you guys know. So I've actually found like my new favorite blue polish in this collection too. So I'm really, really excited to be swatching these. The first shade that we have is called Left My Heart in Havana and also the names in this collection, so great. This purple, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm not really a huge purple nail polish person, but this purple is really, really nice. It has such a good creamy formula and I feel like it's a nice purple. Like. It doesn't pull too red. It doesn't pull too blue. It's just a really good creamy purple shade that has a really nice formula. It's pretty easy to apply and it looks lovely on. And it's not too like grape crush soda-y. So all around great polish. The next shade is called Guava Mama. And this is a good hot pink. It's again, it's, it's like a real hot pink. It doesn't pull orange it doesn't pull too much red it doesn't pull too much blue or purple like it's just a good old hot pink and I kind of love that about that I had a little fuzzy on my um, brush when I did this apparently but fix that and this shade applied extremely well and even for a neon like this didn't dry super matte which is kind of cool so it's extra glossy when you do just put on your regular top coat I feel like and it covered perfectly in two coats. Then we have a shade called Kicks 2 to Mango. And like that name is just so cute. Also, this is the only polish in this collection that has a bit of a shimmer. And I will say that the shimmer in this polish is a lovely. Like it covered perfectly in that one coat. And I did go ahead and do two coats. Because obviously I still needed it. But like it just had such a nice coverage. It felt very even when you applied it. And it just looks really good. And I love the shimmer. And actually, I would have loved to see that same sort of like scattered shimmer throughout the whole collection. I think that would be really, really cool. The next shade is called Tropic Like It's Hot. And at first looking at this one in the bottle, I'm like, wow, this is going to be like your true like neon green shade. However, this was like the one little disappointment, I guess you could say. Even though this collection is like amazing. Whenever I did put this one on, it felt more like a highlightery neon yellow sort of vibe rather than a good old neon green but you know that's kind of expected but I was kind of hoping that it was more and more green and actually picture wise it does look a bit more green but I felt like in real life it looks a little more yellowy so just keep that in mind then we have this shade called head to mojitos and cute name and this shade is so different because I feel like I wanted to use the word like emerald to describe it but I don't really feel like that's it. I almost want to call it like a jungly green, but it like it has some teal like hints in there, I feel like. And it's just a really pretty shade. If you guys have seen ColourPop's latest release, the like lush collection, I think it was, I feel like this green shade goes with a lot of what they've been sharing. So I think that's really cool. Then we have my new favorite blue polish. This is Cuba Diving. I have been after a blue like this for oh so long and I feel like this is just perfect. It has a great formula. Again, I had a fuzz stuck on my nail. I'm not sure what was up. Like, I guess fuzz was flying today. Um, but this polish is just so, so good. It is so consistent. I've already worn it on my toes, I think twice now and on my nails a countless amount of times since I've gotten it. And I just love it. Overall, this collection is just beautiful. I feel like it has neon staples. And even if you already have a rather extensive neon polish collection, I feel like now is the time to refresh that collection because these formulas are so improved compared to traditional neon formulas, I feel like. These just all applied extremely well, looked beautiful on, and all around, I'm just... I'm loving this collection. It's such a great release from China Glaze. Honestly, China Glaze has come up with some great collections this year, and I'm just so excited to see what the rest of the year brings for them collection-wise because they are just doing so well right now. I love them all. So feel free to let me know what de what blah, 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 words. <laughs> what one was your favorite down below or which polish you would gravitate towards the most? Like I said, the scuba diving, I mean cuba diving um, at the end, that blue, it's just beautiful. I love that blue so, so much. 
I've worn it so many times and it's just like the perfect shade of blue. Actually, just for reference, so Jeep has like this particular very bright, vibrant, happy blue color that I see like a lot when I am out and about and it's always like the perfect blue and I'm like that that is such a good blue I want that in a nail polish form so a few years ago I went out and like tried to find it in nail polish form and all the polishes seem to have like too much green too much blue blue like a dark blue then I got one from Morgan Taylor and it was pretty close but now having this one I feel like this is the exact shade that I was after so if you are a blue polish lover I would highly suggest that you grab Cuba diving because it is just it's beautiful. As Amanda Rage Lee would say, it's chef's kiss. So I think that is officially it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed this. Apparently words are really hard today. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!